watching News 4 San Antonio. We have been prepared for a situation just like this for a long time. A coronavirus case in San Antonio is now confirmed. Doesn't the public deserve to know what hospital this person was taking? And a look at the steps the city and health officials are taking now to keep it contained. And a seminary here closing its doors. We talk with students upset with that decision and what's next for them. News 4 San Antonio at 5 starts right now. At our top story at five, the latest on that evacuee from China who is at or was at Lackland Air Force Base, who's now been diagnosed with the coronavirus, the 15th person in the country to be diagnosed with the virus. But earlier today, federal and city leaders told our Joe Galley they would not be releasing just where that patient is now being treated. Doesn't the public deserve to know what hospital this person was taking? I understand that it is. People are, are curious, but for the safety of the patient, um, we are not, CDC is not releasing, releasing the name of the hospital. Well, our Joe Galley kept digging for you and kicks off our team coverage now with the answer from the hospital where that patient is being treated. Joe? Well, Randy, it took a lot of work to get this information, but we knew it was important to all of our viewers at home that have been asking where these patients would be taken in the event that this has happened. And now that it has happened, we know that the patient is behind me at the hospital, the Methodist Texan Hospital. That's the location off of I-10 near 410. And we now know that when that patient arrived, they didn't go through the front door. They didn't go through the emergency room. They went through a secluded back entrance to make sure that this patient never had contact with any of the other patients that are here at this hospital. And since arriving, they've been in a very specialized room to make sure the coronavirus doesn't get out. There may be additional cases that we identify. I do want to prepare you for that. Less than halfway through the two-week quarantine period for 91 people in isolation at a hotel at Lackland Air Force Base, one of them tests positive for coronavirus. We do not believe at this time there is a risk of this infection spilling onto our, into our community from this infected person. The day before yesterday, this patient came down with a fever and was taken to the hospital in this special ambulance designed to contain viral outbreaks. This unit is basically stripped down to where um, we're only using it for this mission. We also have a backup unit, one of ours, that if we need be, we can use that to transport patients. Now the CDC is investigating which of the other people who are in quarantine may have had contact with the infected person. And they're staying strong. They want to come through these 14 days so that they can get back to their family and their loved ones and not risk spreading this virus to them. It's important to note that according to health officials, the coronavirus doesn't spread through the air. To get the virus, you need to make physical contact with saliva from another infected individual. At this point, the CDC does not expect to extend the quarantine time for the folks that are at Lackland Air Force Base, but that could change if another person gets sick. Reporting live for News 4 San Antonio, I'm Joe Galley. Back to you. All right, thanks, Joe. And in today's news conference there, city and federal health officials continue to stress that the risk to the rest of the city is low. But how are you and your neighbors feeling about that? News 4 San Antonio, Zach Hedrick continues our team coverage tonight. Spent the day talking with people who live and work around Lackland. Zach? Well, Randy, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Some are concerned, others are just willing to let this thing go its course. And that seems to stem from them knowing little, if anything, about the virus itself, how it spreads and so forth. Now, during this morning's announcement, Mayor Ron Nuremberg stated that a couple times that people could should continue on with their everyday lives just as normal. Now, some people who live in the area wondered why the evacuees were brought here to Lackland in the first place. The CDC says several factors go into that, like uh, adequate hospitals being in the area and also the bases being uh, having enough space to house this quarantine. That was my biggest concern somebody being infected and start spreading it here. So we have had calls from District 4 residents who are concerned, of course, rightfully so. They are more concerned with the folks that are on base. Now we're being told that that patient that is uh, now at Texan was a solo traveler. Uh, a little bit later on, coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to go more in depth with reaction for people who live and work in this area. That's coming up at 6 o'clock. Back to you. All right, thanks, Zach. We want to share with you some new information from the World Health Organization. They say an increase in the number of coronavirus cases reported is partly due 
to a new way of diagnosing it. Now, right now, the total number of coronavirus cases is 46,550, mostly in China. It's just outside of China, there are about 440 cases in 24 other countries. We're looking deeper now into just when this coronavirus outbreak began, how fast it spread. It was pneumonia cases, reported pneumonia cases, that started popping up in Wuhan, China, around New Year's Eve. And then Chinese authorities on January 7th identified the virus as the novel coronavirus, just the new coronavirus. Then January 11th, the first death linked to it was announced. And here in the U.S., airport screening started January 17th at three airports. Four days later, the first case on U.S. soil was confirmed in Washington state with an evacuee from China. February 7th, 91 evacuees from China arrived here at Lackland. Then today, the first corona case, a coronavirus case in San Antonio was confirmed. We have a complete timeline of the outbreak around the world on our website right now, news4sa.com. And of course, we are continuing to follow the quarantine of those evacuees from China here in San Antonio. We'll bring you more information online at news4sa.com as we learn it.